And I know I told you this lady on the radio, she tries to make a joke, her fingers slip because of the prowl, right? Everyone's, but then they try to make up, oh, what a wonderful world it'll smell, right? Radio, radio people, people trying to get out of saying the F word, right? F bomb. Fly fresh, dope, and fat. Fat. I call it the F bomb because I followed uh, mine, right? With, I have a copy right here. Not to gonna mention it. If they can find it, and they can tag it out. But really, if you're watching the bit, I couldn't say any other word, right? It wouldn't have been an effective bit, because that's the thing that's still making you go, oh, is, 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 how does the FCC, do they come over to your house? Will you, will you please film this when they're like doing, I, I've always wanted to see how that word, I know. And I, like I said, I asked the Beastie Boys, they kind of explained it with the Caucasian idea. And then I kind of got you know, I, some of my ethnically challenged, just being you know, artistically colored. You know, that's what they say. I don't think that way, but right? I never have. I'm basically one myself, you know, in like, you know, the thing I said about John Lennon. Not, not, not the woman you are. No, I'm more, um, punk rock, right? Um, Patti Smith, right? Rock and roll nigger, right? She says, I'm a rock and roll nigger. It's a woman. It's a punk rock musician. And she says it loud. And at one point, it's like, right? Finger, 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 right? Like that. Finger, finger, finger. Finger, rock and roll. Finger. And it's a great song. And you know she's not saying it like she doesn't like Yoko Ono. She has nothing against Yoko Ono. She's very PC when it comes about that. When they say, what about her vocal technique? And she says, you know, I... I never had anything, you know, against Yoko Ono. I don't, I don't think that she really broke up the band. I think uh, they were killed off by MTV. Um, they were, you know, trying to get artists to, to follow their, you know, binding. It's just they picked the wrong Beatle which sent another Beatle to just totally give up, right? And he'd been like fixing himself up and now he's just like, well, forget it. I'm not gonna be healthy, right? And then he's gone. And we're like, really? What happened? Father Sarducci, right? The artist was supposed to take care of this Paul McCartney thing. Everyone knew that. We were like, we want, we want Ringo Starr. It'll be that if we say Beatles, we're gonna see Ringo and that's branding. It's got to go down. So now, got rid of John because he said the N word about his lady friend. And then, you know, Patti Smith tried to like say, hey, let's get cool. And somewhere in between, George Harrison got, got sick, sick and, and decided, decided for Ed, right? right? The, the Uncle, Uncle Ed thing, remember? Ed thing, remember? Do you remember this scene? That's where it happened. Right there. It's at John Lennon's house, right? They're doing this movie, right? To show that John Lennon lives in this house. It's farmland and he's a nice guy, right? And so is Yoko and we're caring and so. But they can't seem to do it, right? You know, it's a, it's a documentary and they film and they film and they film days, days, days. And they just, John, how is it you could do a song like this jealous guy like everybody if, if I could write a song like I'm never gonna write a song and you did it and and it was so clear right like the other song how do you sleep at night right you're telling you your, your music it sounds like music to my ears right you're telling us to take care of a certain beat. We know that. We saw the message. 
But this guy, right? Artist. No. A writer, right? A confused writer, that's all. He reads Catcher in the Rye, you know, he does, you know, he gets confused with partners, right? He's, he's looking at a list of these things and he's saying, well, all right, look how funny this is the life, right? They tried to save us by making a list saying, you know, not Catcher in the Rye. It's a thing where I think he goes like, and he says all these kind of things. Punkish, like anti social remarks. Just sounds like some onion kid, right? Got mad at his teacher, the dean, fires him, and he decides to go kill off, you know, a classmate. It's, it, it, you know, your, your story, right? He reads this, nothing happens, too. I, I really don't. I think he goes to the house he's going to kill, right? He's ready to kill this professor, saying, you know, you were so full of shit, why did you lie to me? But when he gets to the professor's house to kill him or something, the professor is just so honest, just, hey, bro, are you right? You're using your mind. I mean, what, what's that knife? Uh, why don't you, would you like to eat something? Right? It starts out there. Let's go. Would you like some vegan cheese? Like, would you like something that's not food? And then let's talk. 